casual domestic workers living Madare's informal settlement join in in the morning hassle. They gather in small groups in Nairobi's Isli area in the hope that on this day they will be able to make ends meet. Had it not been that she is bedridden, 50-year-old Herina Acheng would have joined them. She has been a casual domestic worker since 1984, until recently when she became a victim of violence. When she asked to be paid her wages, however, they were facing uh, also intimidation, underpayment. They were even uh, being uh, verbally abused by the people who are giving them work. And they did not have even a voice. Her story is their story. It is impossible to separate Ruth Mombi's story from that of these casual domestic workers. They are interwoven. What they share in common is that they all live in Madari's informal settlement. And growing up, Ruth Mombi would witness firsthand the plight of casual domestic workers in the hands of oppressive employers. Lakini sauti yetu na umoja wetu. Today she is at the forefront of empowering them and defending their rights by giving them a voice and a safe place for them to share their experiences through what she has dubbed the Dobi Women Campaign. Sana sana when you wanafanya kasi ya mwezi. Unaweza kufanya kasi ya mwezi unamaliza 30 days. Ukienda mtu anasema umeiba kitu yake. Hakuna msahara. Haki it is through such platforms that Ruth Mombi amplifies the struggle of casual domestic workers and advocates for justice through a social movement she founded, Bunge Lawa Mama Mashinani, that eventually birthed the Dobi Women Campaign. Uh, Bunge Lawa Mama Mashinani was initiated uh, back in the year 2008 during the post-election violence when uh, we as uh, women uh, living in the informal uh, settlement realized that uh, we were the main uh, people who are being affected. By then we did not have a space. So we wanted an alternative space where women can come, discuss their challenges and see the way forward. It is how she distinguished herself as a defender of human rights at the time she was 27 years old. Uh, during 2010, uh, the referendum, uh, Bunge Lawa Mama Mashinani initiated a campaign for young women that was dubbed a rainbow yes, that was pro-constitution. That has been one of the main successes stories that I can say as Bunge Lawa Mama we have, uh, uh, we have achieved. And another campaign is uh, the Dobi Women Campaign. The impact the Dobi Women campaign has had on casual domestic workers in Madare has seen more and more women speak up against violation of their rights. We managed to, uh, to, uh, to take up uh, uh, some uh, cases even in court. We bring in some uh, partners who can also uh, uh, give us pro bono lawyers. Ile upande tumeufaulu kujua haki yetu. Mimi kama Beatrice, wakati nilikuwa tumeanza hii chama, si kujua chochote hata vile naweza kuongea na um, awa mabosu zetu si kukua najua lakini saa hii mimi ni najua haki yangu tunaweza kusimama na yeye tuongee it is a cause that saw Ruth Mombi nominated for the Frontline International Award for Human Rights Defenders at Risk, which recognizes outstanding contributions made by human rights activists in 2013 it has been a motivation to me and also to my organization and also to my colleague because at the end of the day it's not about uh, the award but the recognition of the work that we've been doing. My, my end goal it is to see a liberated woman, a woman who has a voice, especially uh, young Young, young women living in the informal settlement. 
the sentiments of a woman who firmly believes in the voices of women in the creation of a just and equitable society. Sally Milu, Citizen Weekend.